Netflix's South Korean drama, Squid Game follows people who are suffering financial problems and decide to accept an invitation to compete for money in violent games in exchange for prize money. Welcome to Next Trend. In this video we will bring you top 10 facts about South Korean drama Squid Game. Subscribe our channel if you haven't already and enjoy the video. Number 1. Creator of Squid Game began working on the script in 2008, and it was originally a film. Squid Game show had no takers for 10 years. This collaboration with Netflix was creator Huang Donghyuk's first time working with an international entertainment company. Huang began working on his script in 2008 and finished the first draft of it in 2009. It took the writer and director nearly six months to write the first two episodes alone. The creator said that at start the story felt unfamiliar and violent, and he worried people would find it too abstract to be commercialized and find a wider audience. He also struggled with funding and casting until Netflix picked it up about a decade later. Now the world has changed into a place where such peculiar, violent survival stories are actually welcomed. The project was also originally created as a feature film. Number 2. The first game's doll is a real creation you can visit. Eerie, the giant, laser-eyed doll in the first episode Red Light Green Light, is not just something you can see on the show. This doll from the first episode of the show is real and can be found in Jinchen County, a rural area around three hours north of Seoul. The doll was reportedly borrowed for filming Squid Game and then returned. According to Koreaboo, the doll guards the entrance of a horse carriage museum. Number 3. The phone number in the first episode of the show is also real. Contestants get involved in the game by calling the 8-digit number on mysterious business cards. Unfortunately, the phone number is real and belongs to a man who said he received about 4,000 calls a day. A South Korean presidential candidate actually offered to purchase the number from him. Number 4. The set had clues about the upcoming games. The makers left plenty of Easter eggs for viewers to guess what was in store for the players next. The Easter egg was spotted by a TikTok user before it went viral. The walls in the player's room have doodles that foreshadow the games. The dorm walls, which are initially covered by beds, actually have drawings that serve as clues for the players to see which games will be played. Number 5. One of the challenges in the show is now a TikTok trend. The challenge with Dalgona candy, a type of honeycomb toffee, has inspired TikTokers to create their own version. The candy consists of two simple ingredients, sugar and baking soda. The true challenge is eating around the image imprinted in the treat without breaking it. Number 6. The show was originally called Round 6. Netflix's Squid Game is now a viral sensation, but would it have been quite as big without a name that sticks itself in your mind? Squid Game was almost not what the show was called, until the director himself pushed to ensure the name was used. It was originally called Round 6. Number 7. One of the best performing shows in Netflix history. The show is rapidly becoming a sensation, and is the first Korean drama to rank number 1 on Netflix's top 10 show chart, in the United States. Squid Game is Netflix's biggest debut hit, reaching 111M viewers worldwide. Number 8. The green uniforms the contestants had to wear made sets very dusty. The green uniforms the contestants wore were not made out of good material. The outfit was not made for sports. It was like the material of old gym clothes. So with 300 people, it got really dusty in there. It was hard to breathe. Some actors' faces even turned red because of allergies. Number 9. Squid Game is Yoong ho Yun's acting debut. North Korean pickpocketer Kong Sae Byok was Yoong's first acting role. She had previously been a model and had starred in the fourth season of Korea's Next Top Model and had been on the cover of Vogue magazine. Since her appearance on the series, the model gained millions of followers and is now the most followed Korean actress. Number 10. Is Squid Game based on a true story? The schoolyard games are based on real game played by kids and popular in Korea in the 70s and 80s, minus the bloodshed, 
but other than that Squid Game is entirely a work of fiction. Though Squid Game used a real-life news report in its last episode to highlight the reality for Korean families as much as possible during the series. If you enjoyed watching, then do like this video, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.